Hello? Is it on? It's rolling? Yeah. Sophie, you're my cameraman. You're supposed to tell me one thing. It's on! So today I'm going to be discussing the technology that is going to take us from Earth to Mars in 40 days. Wait, was it 40 days or four weeks? What were the tabloids saying? I don't know. Four, four weeks. It was a four. I, of course, am talking about ion propulsion. So I am going to be testing out my own today, but first I'm going to be teaching you guys how ion propulsion actually works. Roll the intro. Intro time. Okay, so as we should all know by now, ion propulsion was first developed back in the 1960s by lizard people so that they could take all of their human urine that they collected back up to their civilization on planet Neptune. As we also should all know, the weight to thrust ratio has not worked out very well for them. They have not left Earth and they are walking among us. Here are six ways to tell if your neighbor is a lizard person. Nope, gotta stay on topic here. Maybe another video. Okay, so first of all, we need to have a sharp edge and a rounded edge. This is the most important part. So the sharp edge is generally positive while the rounded edge is usually negative. So at the sharp edge, the electric field is actually stronger because the charges are packed closer together. The electric field is so dense at this point that it can actually rip electrons from the air. So as the electrons are being ripped away from these air molecules, they turn into positively charged ions. So as this happens, we also have our neutral air molecules. We'll just leave them blank. And now that the air molecules are positively charged, they are repelled away from the positive terminal and they are now attracted to the negative terminal. And as they rush towards the negative terminal, they also bump into these neutral atoms. Now, according to Newton's third law, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So as these ions force their way down, they also force the entire craft up. All right, that is enough explainy time. Let's go build it. Catch. Wow. <laughs> did she get that? Yeah, she did. Got him. Okay, so I made a small ionocraft to, to demonstrate what ion thrust looks like. Now I built one of these floater ionocrafts because I didn't really think I had enough voltage to take off vertically. So it would be a lot easier to get it to float just for demonstration's sake. So this is a really simple setup. I just have a ring, which is gonna act as my rounded edge, and this wire is gonna act as my sharp edge. And my power source today is going to be the CFL flyback transformer circuit I made for my last video. And I added some diodes to the output just to try to rectify the high frequency AC. So let's put this thing on the water. Now let's plug it in, three, two, one. Turn it off. 
Now let's plug in three, two, one. No steering now. Let's turn it off. Three, two, one. Jesus, let's turn it off. Now this thing isn't completing any Tour de France's for, for boats or whatever, but you get the general idea. I built this to kind of demonstrate what goes on in an ion thruster. So positively charged ions fly through this negatively charged part right here to create thrust. All right, so this was the mother of all stupid ideas right here. Please do not try this at home. I mean, water and high voltage, historically not a great mix. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Kelly, catch. <laughs>